everyone. Welcome to class. What? Ah! I, it might not stay on is the only thing. It might not stay on. Do I look good? Does it, do I look good? I feel good. Um, well, welcome to class, everybody. Do I do look? Do I do look good? You like it? You like it? Oh, sunglasses. You got another pair? I, okay, cool. Cool. All right. Oh man, I'm gonna be like styling and profiling. All right, I'm gonna grab the door. I'm gonna grab the door. We'll see how long this get up lasts. Welcome to class, everybody. Um, if, this, if the summer get-up didn't clue you in, we're doing summer games today. So um, you guys have worked really, really hard, and we're kind of at that hump in the middle of summer. And so I thought maybe we could do something a little bit fun to get us over the hump and through summer. Um, we will work today. Um, so the way class is going to go is we're going to alternate kind of more game fun type activity with four minute bouts of cardio. So during those four minutes, work hard, get your heart rate up, and then we'll do something fun in between those, those bouts of working hard, okay? All right, and I know the people at home can't hear it, but I've got great um, summer sun themed music. Beach Boys, I do have Beach Boys. Yes, I do. You can't. Anyone know this song? Of course. Of course. Grace, yes. All right, you guys. Hey, Jim. Summer 11. I know, don't you love it? Well, this is thanks to Dan. All right, you guys. Hey, Alan. All right, everybody standing up nice and tall. Turn your head all the way to one side. It's a little loud. And back to the middle again, and then all the way to the other side. And then back to the middle again. Good. Now take your shoulders up to your ears and back down again. Big shoulder shrugs. Big shoulder shrugs. How are you today? I like your Hawaiian shirt. You look very festive. He forgot to wear it. We might just have to do this again. Give you guys a sec. No, Dan's like, no, no. All right, well, we'll see how you guys like it. All right, let's take it into a big backward shoulder roll. I mean, you guys, you know me. Some of my ideas, they work really well. Sometimes they're disasters. So <laughs> this is a new format. We'll try it. If you don't like it, we'll never do it again. That's the good news. If you don't like it, we can just get rid of it. Roll those shoulders back. Let's do four more of these. One, two, three, and four. Nice job. All right, let's do a big step forward and reach forward. And then as you step back, pull those elbows back. So it's a reach and a row. Reach and row. Good. Reach and row. Reach and row, reach, and row, reach, and row, good, reach, and then row, pulling those elbows back, reach, and row, six more of these, reach, and row, reach, and row, last four, reach, and row, three more, reach, and row, two more, reach, and row, last time, reach and row, good. All right, now we're gonna switch and do that to the side. So let's step to the right, reach across, and then row. Let's do it to the other side. Reach and row, so now we're stepping sideways and reaching sideways, reach and row. Reach and row, getting a little rotation in there. Reach and row, reaching across your body, reach and row, good, reach, and row, keep going, reach, and row, nice, reach, and row, six more, reach, and row, reach, and row, last four, reach, and row, three more, reach, and row, last two, reach, 
and row last time. Reach and row. Nice job. All right, now we're going to change and step backwards, reaching up behind us. So step backwards and reach your arms up behind you and then come forwards. Good. And let's do it on the other side. Reach and forward. Good. Reach and forwards. Good. Reach and forwards. A little mix in the style of music, too. So I got everything from Beach Boys to Kid Rock. I, it's, it's a mix. A little something in there for everybody, right? Reach. Good. I try to get classic summer songs. Classic. That's what I was going for. All right, good. Reaching those arms way up in front and then way up and back. Six more. Oh, it's another Hawaiian shirt. We got two fun people in class. All right, I forgot where we were. Four more. Reach back. One, two. I love it. Welcome to class, Terry. Three. Let's do it again. And four. Nice job. All right, put a little space between your feet. We're going to do hamstring curls. So bring in your heel up behind you. And then add a bicep curl. Good. Terry, you looking mighty sharp today. I like that outfit. We got to get a picture of you and Dan after this. Don't leave until I get a picture of you guys. The rest of you guys, sorry. And you're all, you can get a picture of me in my hat and my sunglasses. The rest of you guys are too boring for words. You can't be in the picture. What I didn't bring anything for myself. See, I'm boring. I'm boring as well. I am no fun. I I is self-admitted no fun. All right, you guys, couple more of these. Bring that heel up behind you, and then we're gonna finish with a nice march. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's switch to that march. Hey, come on in. How are you, Donna? Oh, I like it. We got a full house today. Good. All right, nice job, you guys. 30 more seconds of marching, and then we'll be done with warm up. Hey, Donna. Good. Almost there, 20 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Okay, so we're going to start off with a four-minute bout of cardio, um, and then we're going to head into some group, um, group uh, games. games. All right, so our, for our first four-minute bout of cardio, it has kind of a jumping theme. So we'll do um, four exercises, one minute each. We're going to start with um, jump rope. So the key thing with jump rope is your arms got to be circling like you're holding a jump rope. And your legs need to be doing something as well. I don't care what. So your legs, you could march it. You could give me even a little knee bend would be just fine. You could actually jump something. So everybody's arms are circling and do something with your legs. Something with your legs. Move your legs in some way. All right, and then we're going to do second minute jumping jacks. So you can do full jumping jacks if you want to, or you can do half jumping jacks. So stepping out to the side and then back in with those big jumping jack arms. Okay? Third move, third minute, we're going to do side hops or steps. So that's either hopping or stepping from side to side. That'll be the... We might even add a little arm wave to it. That'll be the third minute. And then the fourth minute, we're going to go back and forth. So either hopping back and forth or just a nice big step back and forth. All right. You guys ready? This one's for you, Gert. All right, you guys ready? We're starting with a minute of jump rope. Everybody standing up nice and tall. Get that jump rope in your hands. And let's go. 
So you can jump it, or you can march it, you can do knee bends, just keep those hands circling that rope the whole time. That's the important part. Good, I'm gonna do a little march. I should be jumping with Ron, but then my microphone tends to fall off, so, and my, I gotta keep my sunglasses on. Circle those arms around. Good, you guys, we're 30 seconds in. So you got another 30 seconds of jump rope. I better see those arms circling. It's not jump rope. You don't like this song? Oh, well, I tried to pick one that had summer in it. And Gert, all right, Gert, you're in charge of the playlist for next week. Keep going, 10 seconds. Keep going, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's switch to jumping jacks. Stepping out. All right, you know what? On break, I'm gonna search for fun, 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 okay? Just for you, Gert. Nice. Now, just because I'm doing half jumping jacks, if you really want to go to full jumping jacks, you go right ahead. That is exactly right, Alan. There is a troublemaker in every group, and we we know exactly what's going on. All right, you guys, let's keep going. You guys okay? Oh, good. Is everything okay? Have a seat. Jim, can you do me a favor and just go get Angela real fast? Thanks. All right, let's keep going. We got five more seconds of jumping jacks. Three, two, and one. All right, good. Let's go to those. Woo! Side hops. Side hops. Side hops. Good. Side hops. Nice. Good. Side hops. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> Looks like we got two troublemakers in the group today. Side hops. Good. Or side steps if you don't want to hop it. You can just step it. Perfect. All right, you guys look good. 15 more seconds. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good, let's switch to back and forth. Here we go. Hopping or stepping, forwards and backwards. Good. Nice. Good, you guys look awesome. 30 more seconds. Big arm swing, trying to cover some ground, forwards and backwards. Adding that little hop in there if you want to. Nice job, you guys. 20 seconds. Good. 10 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Okay, nicely done. All right, I'm going to lose the sunglasses. All right, first exercise that we're going to do, this is kind of a moving game. So the game is called, where do you stand? Where do you stand? So I am in the middle of the room. I think this is the middle. I am in the middle of the room, and I'm going to give you guys two options. For example, on the right side is going to be something very important, and on the left side is going to be something very important. These are weighty life issues that you must take a stand on. Okay? Much rides and depends on your answer to these, okay? So for example, I might say coffee on the right, tea on the left. And then you must move and show us where you stand on this very important issue. 
So if you are a die-hard coffee person, you would move all the way to the right and get as close to the door as you can. If you are a die-hard tea person, you're going to get all the way to the left. If you're kind of like, I don't care, be in the middle. The other thing is, I want you to stay facing me the whole time. So you're not going to turn and walk. You're going to be moving sideways, okay, from one side of the room to the other, depending on where you stand on these very weighty issues. Okay? All right. You guys ready? Okay. I think we should start with the coffee and tea. Everybody standing up tall? All right. Coffee, tea. All right. Move sideways. Watch your neighbors. Don't run into anyone. Let's see where you stand on this very important weighty issue. We got, we got a diehard coffee person. We got some people who like tea down here. I like this. I like this. All right. This is very interesting. I'm learning a lot about you guys. All right. Next weighty issue. If you are going to go on vacation, are you going to go to the mountains or the beach? These are very important things. Mountains or beach. Nobody's moving. All right. I'm switching it. Mountains and beach. Thank you. Mountains and beach. I want to see you guys move. This is a game where I want you to move. You like them both? Take a stand, Gert. Take a stand. I forgot. All right. Take a stand. All right. Now, next very weighty, important question. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Take a stand on this. Cat or dog? Cat or dog? I, there can be no one in the middle on this issue, I feel. Are there? Are there some people? We do have some people. I love it. Look at how many people are against the wall. Uh, this is, a, this is uh, people like to take a stand on this issue. Very, very critical. Dog and cat. Yes, dog and cat. Yeah, dog and cat. I know, you cat people over there. All right. <laughs> if you're going to go on vacation, are you going to fly in an airplane or drive? Fly in an airplane or drive? Are you a driving person or a flying person? I just wanted to see you move back and forth, Bob. It's really fun for me to watch you shuffle. Yes, really fun for me to watch you. Man, people are seriously divided on this issue. There's no one in the middle. You either have liked to fly or you like to drive. I like this. We're learning a lot about people. All right. Are you a chocolate person or a vanilla person? Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate or vanilla? I don't know. Either one. Either one. No one is vanilla. We got one neutral. <laughs> Angela's got one vanilla friend. Well, I just, I love this. All right, I'm going to have to pick this one wisely so that you guys all move to this, this side of the room. All right. Mild food or spicy food? Mild food or spicy food? Mild food, spicy food. <laughs> oh, Carlos. Split right down the middle. Split right. Wow. People are very divided on this issue. I, I like this. All right, I got to take a quick peek, see if I forgot anything. Oh, all right. I've got two more. I've got two more. All right, are you a night owl or a morning person? Night owl or morning person? All right, we're switching them. We're switching them. Did I say night owl? Morning people over here. Night owl people over here. Morning. I'm, I switched it. Making you guys move. I switched it. I switched it. I'm like the Cheshire cat. I'm like the Cheshire cat. That's, that's right. I know. I, I switched it. All right. Last one. Oh, I forgot what my last one was. Last one. Oh, my. Have mercy. He's mad at me. All right. Are you a cold weather person or a hot weather person? Cold weather or hot weather? 
Cold weather or hot weather? Cold, hot. Cold, hot. Oh, wow. I got a lot of people right down the middle on this issue. I like it. I like it. All right, you guys. That was a lot of fun. All right. Let's get back to your spots. That is true. Let's do that one. Cardinals or blues? Cardinals or blues? Now that is, now we are getting political here. I was trying to keep this friendly, but now we've got, now the, the true divisions are showing up. Rams. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, we do. I, yeah, cool. A lot of Cardinals people. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys, find your spots. We got another four minutes of cardio. Find your spots. Find your spots. Yep. Yeah, why don't we bring a chair in front, too? Yeah. Yeah, in front of him. Perfect. Perfect. All right, you guys. We got four minutes of four minutes of marching. You guys remember this song? Anyone know this one? Yes. I haven't heard this song in forever. All right, we're starting off with just a minute of plain marching. High knees, big arm swing. Make it count. I mean, if you want to dance, you can dance. I know the people at home can't hear the music, so they can't dance as well. But you're all in the room. Hum summer in the city. If you're at home, hum summer in the city. Oh, no, I cannot sing. All right, you guys, 30 more seconds. High knees. Big arm swing. Come on, come on. Oh, I did start singing. Did you hear that? That was bad. I'm going to scare people. <laughs> Ten seconds, you guys, and then we're going to a wide march. A wide march. You guys ready? In three, two, one. Keep marching. Just make it wide. Good. Keep going. Big arm swing. Nice job. Anybody have an idea when this song was? 60s. 60s? Good job, you guys. 30 seconds. Wide march. I should see some space between your feet. I want to see sunlight, daylight between your feet. It's going to feel funky because you're not used to standing like this, but that's OK. All right. In 10 seconds, we're going to go back to normal stance, but we're going to march forwards and backwards. You guys ready? Here we go. Normal feet are normal with the part. We're just marching forwards and backwards. Good. Couple steps forward, couple steps back. Keep going. Music's going to change. Keep marching. We still got a minute and a half of marching left. Minute and a half of marching. Good. Keep going. 30 more seconds forwards and backwards. 30 more seconds. Nice job, you guys. Keep going. Forwards and backwards. High knees. Keep those knees up. Keep those arms swinging. Nice job. 10 more seconds. Keep those knees up. All right, good. Make your way back to your spot. All right, now we're going to either take it into a light jog or you're going to do fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet or a, all the way up to a light jog. Fast feet, fast feet. So now your knees aren't going up so high. I'm looking for speed not amplitude, right? So it's smaller movements, but they're faster. Faster movements, 
but smaller range. We already did the big high knees. Now we're going faster. 30 more seconds. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. Good fast feet there, Terry Counselor. I like that. 15 more seconds. Quick jog. Fast feet. We're getting ready. You guys ready for football season? This is spring training right here. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. All right. Now we're going to play a little tennis. A little tennis. Yes. All of us are going to play tennis across the room. No, I'm kidding. We are going to all get a tennis ball. I want everybody to get one tennis ball. Um, there's a big basket back here. So you're going to stay in your spot. We're not. We're not. We're going to stay in our spot. Here you go, Terry Counselor. All right. And go ahead and get some tennis balls here. I can open this up. There we go. Hopefully we have enough tennis balls. I thought I had plenty, but we got a big class today. One tennis ball per person. One tennis ball. You got one? I'm so generous. You are so generous. We should have enough. We got one back there. Anyone else need a tennis ball? Half of the half of the battle with this game is just getting the tennis ball in your hand. What one more? Who needs one more? Oh. Ooh, that was not a good. That was not a good throw. Clearly, I'm not going to be. Clearly, I'm not going to be. All right, you guys. We got a couple of tennis drills coming up. First one is we are going to do a bounce followed by a catch. Bounce, catch, bounce. Catch. Good. Working on our hand-eye coordination here. If you lose the ball and it rolls away from you, take your time getting it. We're not in a rush here. It's summertime. So half of the balance challenge for you guys, maybe if you lose the ball, going to get it. So be safe when you're going to get the ball, okay? There is no rush. Good. We got another minute of this. Just working on hand-eye coordination here. Hand-eye coordination. Gert, I just told you not to rush. Don't go running after the balls, you guys. The ball are not going anywhere. I've never seen you rush before. What, what is it about a ball that makes people want to chase it? I think we're all still five years old at heart. 30 more seconds. Toss that ball. Good. <laughs> what tall person over there was hitting the ceiling? 15 more seconds of this drill. Nice job, you guys. 15 more seconds. Good. And then we're going to move on to another drill. <laughs> Marty doesn't know her own strength. Five, four, three, two. And one. All right, next drill. Everybody put a little space between your feet, please. You are going to do a figure eight around your legs. Go into a squat, then stand up, toss the ball. So you are squatting and then standing up. Squat and then stand. We should get in a lot of repetitions of squats in this, in this exercise. All right? Little toss. Good. Figure eight. Little ball toss. Good. Your tennis game is going to be so awesome after this. When you start winning the big bucks in those tournaments, I want a cut. I get a coaching cut. And it's a pretty big cut. So make sure that you're entering tennis tournaments with, with a big pot. <laughs> He's got two, man, you put a Hawaiian shirt on, Dan, and he gets frisky. I, I'm a little frightened. All right, keep going. We got another 45 seconds. I want to see you guys going into a squat and then standing up. So lots of things going on with this exercise. Leg strength, lots of squats, 
hand-eye coordination, watching that ball with your eyes. <laughs> Watch out behind you, Ron. All right, good, you guys. Less than 30 seconds. And then we're going to switch gears again. Still working on your tennis skills. All right, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next tennis drill, next tennis drill. All right, arms are up over your head, and you're going to lift your leg up. You're going to pass that ball under your leg and then, and then over your head. All right, now there's two options for this. If you just lift your knee up, that's a little bit easier. If you do a full kick and you, that whole leg goes out straight, that's a lot harder. So if you're, if you're adding a little rocket into it, that's a little bit harder. Or you can just lift that knee up. Or like Alan is doing, if you need to, if you need to go get a little lower, bring yourself down to your knee, you can do that. All right, Ja. So biggest challenge is if you're doing a full kick. The straighter that leg is, the harder it is. Summer days. Nice. But every single repetition, try to stand up tall and work on a big overhead reach. So working on active range of motion in your shoulders, standing up tall, working on your balance. I'm not exactly sure how this is a, a tennis drill, but just go with me on it. Humor me. Sometimes we, sometimes we stretch the truth a little bit in here. Maybe not the truth. That's not the right way to put it. We use our imaginations. 15 more seconds, you guys, and then we got one more. One more tennis drill. Nice. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last tennis ball drill. You are going to try to hold that tennis ball in the back of your hand and then do a lunge, an alternating lunge. All right, good. So this is kind of like, you know, if we were in finishing school, this is our equivalent of putting that, that book on our head. Try to balance that. Balance that. We're going to get a, a water break after this. This is the last one. Working on, working on having really steady lunges. Really steady lunges. Can't be moving all around. You got to keep this part of your body still. Woo. I am not very good at this one. I would have never made it through finishing school. I guess that's why I was not a debutante. Good job, you guys. All right, let's switch hands. Let's balance the ball on your other hand. Same thing. We're still lunging. We're going to get a lot of repetitions of these lunges. You're going to be sprinting across that tennis court. Yes. Strong legs and a lot of control. This half of your body is very still, while the lower half of your body is moving. That takes a lot of control. You guys look good. We got 30 more seconds. Try to balance that ball. Good. Almost there. Almost there. Good. 15 seconds. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right. Go get some water. So the tennis balls, let's put them back in the, where'd the basket go? Put them back in the basket. Back in the basket. You are not allowed to throw them at me. That, oh, yes, no, against the rules, <laughs> against the rules, I tell you. Dan, are you pretty proud of me? Like, my hat stayed on the whole time. I know. All right. I, I trust you, but not, my, not myself. <laughs> All right. Did you get it in? Did you get it in? All right, you guys, get your water. I've got, um, 
I've got some trivia for you while you're while you're taking a break. Some trivia for you. All right, all right. Um, this is supposed to be quote unquote senior trivia, so um, that means I'm not supposed to know any of the answers because I'm mere middle aged. Then you cannot be wrong. Exactly. All right. Let's see. All right. I'll, here we go. First trivia question. What post-war car turned automotive design on its ear when you couldn't tell whether it was coming or going? Volkswagen Beetle. What? Beetle? I got, do I have any other guesses? Studebaker. Studebaker. All right. All right. We got two, two, uh, two submissions here. We've got Volkswagen Beetle and Studebaker. Who's voting for the Volkswagen Beetle? Who's voting for the Studebaker? Studebaker is correct. Studebaker is correct. Studebaker is correct. All right. Here we go. Second one. Before inline skates, how did you keep your roller skates attached to your shoes? Leather straps. Leather straps. Okay. Oh, a crank. A crank. A crank with a key. A crank with a key. All right. I love it. All right, I've got, we've got two answers here. One of them is correct. Leather straps or a crank with a key? Who's voting for the leather straps? All right, who's voting for the crank with the key? Apparently, it is with clamps tightened by a skate key. Did anyone have those when they were growing up? Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, two more questions. What was a duck and cover drill? What was a duck and cover drill? Cold water. Cold war? Cold war. Cold war. Duck and cover drill. A bomb. A -bomb. A -bomb. Any other guesses? Tornado. Tornado. Earthquake. Earthquake. All right, so the three options are atomic bomb, earthquake, or tornado. Who's voting for atomic bomb? Atomic bomb. No, all right, we got atomic. Lot of, all right, earthquake votes. Couple uh, tornado votes. Atomic bomb is correct. Yeah. And I was informed yesterday when I did these that that was, um, who knows? I don't, you know, that I don't know whether the source is 100% valid. But I was told yesterday that the duck and cover drills were purely to make the kids feel better. Like if, if there was actually, if you're right? It doesn't matter what you're doing. So I think that that was probably accurate information that the duck and cover drills were merely just to make the kids feel like they were. They had a plan and a, per, you know. All right, last one, last one. What was the name of Carolyn Kennedy's pet pony? I can give you options if you don't know. What? Macaroni. macaroni. All right, we got one macaroni. Any other guesses? Any other guesses? Macaroni. One of them is right. It's either who votes for macaroni and who votes for macaroni. You are absolutely correct. It was macaroni. Yeah. Terry, I am so impressed with your memory. I know, right? Sign Terry up for trivia night. All right, you guys. Let's gather back. I think that was enough time, hopefully, to finish your water. We have another round. I knew none of them. None of them. Yeah. But if you pulled up middle-aged trivia, I'd be all over it. Yeah, yeah, all right, cause, yeah, because you lived through that, too. All right, we have another four minutes. Oh, Gert, what was the song that you wanted? Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let me see if I can find. Fun. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Yes. All right, you guys ready to squat to fun, fun, fun? Four minutes of squatting. This is a much better song. You were totally right. All right, you guys, so hands at your shoulders. Let's go down into a nice slow squat with a big reach up to the ceiling. We have a minute of these. Nice slow squat with big reach. Good. Ah, nice. This is a good summertime song, Gert. I should just, Gert, would you just like to do all the playlists? I am happy to turn that responsibility over to you because you are way better than me. 
20 more seconds. What? They, oh, they did. They came to one of the first fairs St. Louis's. Well, how cool. See, there's more trivia. All right, let's do one more of these. Nice job. All right, now we're going to switch. Bring your legs in a little bit closer. And we're going to sit down and then stand up. So kind of a narrower squat. Nice job. Kind of like what we did in warm-up with the arms. Going all the way up to the ceiling in both directions, keeping your arms straight. It's just a big arm swing. Nice. Good, you guys look awesome. 30 more seconds of these narrow squats. Good. 20 seconds. Sit down into it. Sit and stand. Sit and stand. 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, now we're going to switch gears and go into wide, wide squat with your toes pointed out. Okay? Sit down into it. Sit down into that squat, and we're going to punch for a minute. Good. So we're not in a full squat here. We're just sitting into it a little bit, right? So see if your toes are pointed out to the corners of the room. And you're just in squat here, but you're holding it for the whole minute. And you're giving B punches. Oh, no. We're on, it's summertime, Dan. Do we really need to watch the clock in summertime? Less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Good. 15 seconds. Then we have one more squat exercise. Keep going. Fun, fun, fun. Good. Ten, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, last squat exercise. We're going to do swing through squats. Arms up to one side and squat. Swing those hands through and up the other side. You're trying to brush those fingertips across the floor. Squat into it. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Nice. Lower and lift. Good. Lower and lift. 40 more seconds, Dan. Well, less than that now. Now we're at 30. Count it in your head. 20 seconds. Nice. Oh. Good. You guys look awesome. 10 more seconds. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Barbara Rand, Barbara Rand. Oh, that's, that's another good one. All right. We're going to switch gears. Bar, bar. Is it Barbara Ann? Barbara Ann. All right. All right, I got it. I love it. Okay, we are going to switch gears, and we're going to play um, a little bit of baseball. A little bit of baseball. We play tennis. we got to play a little baseball, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to line up in two rows facing each other. Okay? So some of you guys are kind of already in a good spot. You guys can kind of stay where you are facing this direction. And then on this side of the room, I want you to turn so Carlos could face Rich. And we got a ready-made partner there, okay? A ready-made partner. All right. So, um, and Gert, if you like, if you want the chair next to you for balance, I would turn the chair and kind of have it sideways for you. Yep, so anybody who needs a chair next to you. All right. We actually need a little more space between you guys, a little, little bit more space. So my, my guys who are, yep, back. Let's come back. Just a wee touch there, Gert. All right. You're going to sit it out. You can do it from there. 
You can even do it sitting. And Terry, I'm going to turn this for you so it's not in your way. You come stand right next to that chair. Do we have, or do we have an even number? Does everyone have a partner? Need to be with Chris? Okay, perfect. All right, Chris, I want you to come. St yeah, let's, let's have a chair right here. Chris, you can come stand right next to this chair, and I will be your partner. Has everybody got a partner? Yeah. Everybody has a partner. All right, I'm going to pass this side of the room. This side of the room gets one tennis ball. The other side of the room doesn't get one. There's nothing to be scared of. Y'all are looking all frightened on me. Looking all frightened on me. You're going to do both of them. All right. Here, Dan, I'm going to give you a chair right next to you, my friend, just in case. Okay, everybody's got a ball. Let me turn on Barbara Ann. All right, we're going to field, we're going to practice our baseball, our baseball skills. Okay, so watch me. Everybody on this side of the room that has the tennis ball, we're going to roll the ball. You guys are going to ground that ball, and then th Chris is going to throw it home. So throw it to home base. I'm home base. Perfect. All right. So this side of the room, we're, we're grounding the ball. Is that the right baseball term? And then throw it to home. Good. So ground that ball and then throw it to home. Perfect. Hopefully your catcher at home plate actually can catch the ball. Yep. Isn't this called a grounder? Am I right on that? Do I, have, do I have my baseball terminology right? Oh, sorry, Chris. Clearly, the Cardinals are not going to be recruiting me. I'll let John Mosaic know that he's got some serious talent in the room. Nice. All right. When you kind of get the hang of it, see if you can go a little faster. So your goal is to get that ball. There you go, Chris. We're working on our we're working on our speed here. Working on our speed. Good. Nice job. Oh, I got that one. Good. All right. Good. We've got 15 more seconds and then we're going to switch. All right, you guys ready? You got it? All right, we're switching. So now, everybody on Chris's side of the room, roll the ball. So switch, switch what the partners are doing, right? This side of the room rolls the ball. This side of the room throws it. All right, you ready? Let's go. Thank you. Nice. Roll the ball. All right. Hold on, Chris. I gotta go I gotta go get the music back. All right. Let's go. Wipe out. This is such a goofy song. It's fun for summer though. It's fun for summer. Let me get it, Dama. You got it? Okay. Good. Keep going. All right. We got 30 more seconds of this drill. 30 more seconds. You never know. There might be a secret baseball scout in here. Good. Here you go, Damo. I got this one. All right, you guys. Okay. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, I want our lines to get just a touch closer together. So we're going to do a little, oh, sorry, not that direction. I meant like squeeze in a little bit. Squeeze, I, my directions were not clear. Squeeze in a little bit. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little relay race. We're going to have a little relay race. So we've got this team versus this team, all right? This is our grand finale for the day. This, this team for this. All right, so what we're going to do 
is when the ball is going down towards the windows, you pass it in front. And then as it's coming back down, you're going to pass it behind your back to the person next to you. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes? All right. So um, and we only, we only need one ball there. So I'm going to collect. Yeah, we don't, we don't need. All right. We're going to do a relay race here. We're going to do a little relay. Little relay race. Right side of the room. You keep that ball. All right. Right side of the room versus left side of the room. All right. Does it make sense what we're doing? So as the ball is going down towards the window, you're going to pass the ball in front. As it's coming back towards the door, you're going to pass the ball behind your back to your partner. Okay? All right. We are going to go. The ball needs to go up and back four times, okay? So all the way up and down four times. All right, are you guys close enough over here? What? You got it, it's starting right there, starting with Doug. Oh, are they cheating? Are they cheating? Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta watch them like a hawk. All right, you guys ready? On your mark, get set, go. Passing it front, good. And then when it hits the last person, now it's got to go behind your back. Oh, that's a little bit harder. Behind your back, good. Oh, you guys are looking good. I'm seeing some good teamwork here. Good teamwork. Nice job, behind your back, behind your back, behind your back. All right, one round here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got to go four times, four times. All right, we're all on, we're all, both teams are on round number one. Behind your back, behind your back, coming back. They're kind of sneaky back here. They don't even have to move that much. I love it, I love it. All right, second round. Go again, Bob. They're on round number two over here. Man, they're speedy. I think they got a little bit closer together on this side, which really helps. All right, going around the back. All right, that's number two over here. We're almost finished with round three on this side. We might have a champion on this team. I don't know. This is the last time up and back for the, for the right side of the room over here. Oh! Dan's ambushing the other team. That's against the rules. I love it. All right, you guys, keep going. Where's our ball? Good. Last time for this team. And I think we have a winner. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. All right. Last thing that we're going to do to finish up, good job, both teams. We're going we're gonna to do, I don't know whether you guys have been to a Cardinals game and they do the wave around the, yeah. So everybody kind of get in a circle. We're going to finish with a nice wave. Oh. Well, then we're not going to do the wave. We're going to do the wave. We're going to do the wave. Just humor me, Gert. Just humor me. All right. They do the wave. Does everybody know the wave, right? You don't, Carlos does not know the wave. All right, we're going to teach him an American tradition. Like Gert said, it's a little bit silly, but that's the way we do things here. Woo! Did you get it in? All right, so I'm going to start the wave. I'm going to do this and go up, and then it's when I'm done, then Bob goes down and up, and then all the way. So we're going to do down and up, because we squat in this class. All right, so when Bob's done, then Ron goes, then Alan, then, well, thank you, Gert. Troublemaker, troublemaker. I know. All right, you guys ready? All right, I'm going to start it off, Bob, and then we're going to go around. Here we go. All right, now Bob, oh, wait, wait. It's got to go around the circle. Yep, Alan, then Carlos. Good, then Gert. We got to work in. There you guys go. Oh, now we're getting it. Now we're true fans. Nice. Oh, I like it. All right, let's go around one more time because we're having fun in here, whether Gert thinks so or not. Good. Keep going. Nice. Go cards. Well, see, this is for Carlos. So when he goes to the game, he'll know what to do. All right, everybody, let's all do it together. 
Yay! Great class, you guys. Great class. The real. How do we do the real wave? You guys know how to do the real wave. Wasn't that the real wave? Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Show me the real wave. Oh. Okay. All right. It's good that we have Gert here. Whew. All right, you guys. Everybody find a chair. Let's, um, let's do a little bit of stretching, you guys. Thanks for putting up with my rather cheesy summer games. I thought they were fun. Thank you. Thank you. I did have a hula hoop game planned, um, but there's too many of you guys. I thought it would have, I, th I think it would have, yeah, it would have gotten a little out of control. But there aren't, there aren't more than two people that have been to championship hula hoops in this class, though. Do we have a championship hula hooper in the class? Sure. Well, if we do, there is a hula hoop right back there. You can show your stuff. I will be happy. Do we have anyone who would like to demonstrate the hula hoop while we're stretching? Not, not I, that's for darn sure. All right, you guys, everybody sitting at the edge of your chairs. Well done today. Let's take a nice deep breath in and blow out. And let's do that again. And blow out. And last time. And blow out. Good. Let's roll your shoulders back. All right, well, we had our fun. Next week, it's back to business. Working hard again next week. We had a little bit of work today. Yeah. It was just fun, fun work, lighthearted work. Good. Two more rolls. One and two. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you guys, sit up tall. Oh, geez. Okay, let's. Let's turn, let's turn. Turn and try to look behind you. What are we going to do with him, Bob? <laughs> keep him. I guess we'll have to keep him. What? Turn. And turn the other direction. I, I just, I totally lost my train of thought since I was under attack. Oh! You're going to pay for this. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. All right, let's wrap up the stretching or else Dan's going to, nobody's going to be left standing. Stretch one leg out in front. Stretch towards those feet. Oh, okay. It's cold. It's cold. Man, give him an inch and he just, he's sorry. He's sorry. All right, that leg that's out in front, take it and cross it over and lean forward. I didn't realize that this was a dangerous place to come into work. I, who knew? I know, exactly. There are OSHA rules against, against this sort of thing. I have to feel safe in my work environment. All right, stretch that other leg out in front. Nice straight knees. Reach for your toes. Hire a bodyguard or something. I tell you what. All right, good. That leg that's out in front, take it and cross it over your opposite knee and lean forwards. What? Oh, that's right. This is a tremble clef song. It was an homage to tremble clef. All right, you guys, well done today. Give yourselves a round of applause. We do need to take a picture. We do need to take a picture. All right. Okay, let's let me get this out of here because the the tight